Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2324 Tops Chrome Basketball. Three box, pick your team number 10. Uh, second third of a case we popped open yesterday. Got a chance at the Spurs if you follow the instructions there. All cards ship, of course. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Sold this out straight up, no filler. Now we're gonna alphabetize the column A by your first name. So if you bought two teams, you get an entry. Adam bought two, that's an entry. If you bought four teams like Alan, you get two entries. Brett's got two, that's an entry. CJ's got five. For the purpose of the promo four count, that's two entries. EA got two, that's an entry. Mark S got four, that's two entries. Mark L got two, that's one entry. Peter got two, that's an entry. Robert got two, that's an entry. Steve got two, that's an entry, and Tristan got two, that's an entry. All right, so we got Adam, Alan's two, Brett, CJ's two, EA, Mark's two, Mark's one, Peter, Robert, Steve, Tristan. All right, so this is for the Spurs. Let's gather everybody's names. New dice, new list. And name on top after six and a three, nine times. Name on top after nine gets the Spurs in this break. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we got Mark S. After nine with the Spurs. All right, now time to print and rip. Good luck, everybody. All right, here's the final printout. Hot off the press is on a Thursday, your Thursday, my Friday. Whatever day it is, a good day to break. Thanks, everybody. All right, so we've got three sets of three. So we're gonna roll the die. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll. And it is four. One, two, three, four. So middle stack. We'll save these for next time. I think the next three box break is only like five teams away. So we can probably get that sold out straight up. Two autos per box on average. Good luck, everybody. First three boxes were pretty solid, I think. There's some solid names in there. Did we see LeBron? Did we see Wemby? No. So that's still a possibility here. I think we saw some, some solid rookie names in the first three boxes, if I remember correctly. Um... They're mixing in, uh, in addition to the to the top tier rookies that we're looking for, some uh, legends in here as well. So, former superstars. There's a Wemby right there. We did see one Wemby base rookie card in the la in the first three, but not much more after that. The great thing about collecting basketball is that even even like the second tier rookies will still sell pretty well in a secondary market, I think. There's Base Wemby. And away we go. We got Jerry West and Chris Paul Lava, 56 out of 149. And Nick Smith Jr. starts things off. First auto for Tristan and Charlotte.
Mark is saying he's been in them all. Thanks, Mark. So he's, we saw two base Wemby autos, Cams, Scoots, Millers, but no big LeBrons or Wembys just yet. There's Brandon Miller, and here's Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon, 34 out of 99, jersey number. CJ with the Rockets. And Tristan has Charlotte, looking for, looking for Brandon Millers. And here's a Youthquake Refractor, Scoot Henderson, and Zach Collins, 185 out of 349. For San Antonio, that'll be for Mark S. And EA has Portland. Steph Curry. Big news for Steph Curry, right? Signed a big one-year extension for 60, a little over $62 million. So that's a nice little payday. Here's KG, hands off the glass KG, 10 out of 199, Minnesota edition. For Steve. There's a youth quake Brandon Miller for Tristan. Uh, there was another bit of big Tops news. Otani joined Tops on an exclusive trading card deal. So that's pretty awesome. And here's Jalen Hood Shafino, rookie auto for my Lakers. That's gonna to go to CJ. A lot of a lot of hopes that you know Jalen Hood Shafino can evolve and emerge as a uh, as a contributor at the very least, if not if not a good off the bench guy. Derek Lively is pretty solid, so is Keontae George, photo negative. There's Tony Parker to 75 for San Antonio. What's up, Mark? Yeah, Mark wants to like this, but doesn't like the, yeah, it's like Panini Baseball. Yeah, if you don't like Panini Baseball, you're not going to like this. It's not going to be for everybody, but a lot of people still getting into it. We sold this one out straight up, no filler. Sales have been pretty brisk, so we've been selling boxes of this out of the shop as well. But yeah, the, the licensing thing can bother some people. I have to admit, it is a little jarring for me as well, but because I'm so used to Topps Chrome always being licensed. But hey. Secondary, secondary market still pretty strong on this, so you don't have to PC it, but you can still join in and then just resell it. Until they're officially licensed, I have a feeling that that they're probably keeping some uh, cool design elements just kind of locked away before they unleash it for you know they're not going to put out the put out like their full design package on something that's not licensed. So that's a little warm up for us though. Drew Holiday to 65 Green Wave. 
And our next autograph is a guard. It's Ryan Rupert for Portland. That's going to be for EA and the Trailblazers. There's Joel Embiid to 349. You want, I'll tell you when Panini is going to give up is when the uh, all the licenses officially turn over to Fanatics and then they'll really have nothing else to do. Sixers, Allen. And then Jordan Hawkins. Yeah, I mean, there really hasn't been any sort of leaks on uh, what offers were, were made for Panini. Uh, Jordan Hawkins is a uh, Pelican. So that'll go to Nolens. That'll be for Peter. But I've heard rumblings that there was a that there was a big uh, that there was a big offer like kind of during the pandemic or something, like the height of all the craziness, here's Julian Phillips at 299, and that a big offer was made to them that Panini had rejected or something like that. There's a LeBron James, we don't see too many of those. And there's Jalen Pickett, 101 out of 299. At LeBron James, we'll go to CJ in the Lakers. Not sure what these base ones are going for, but there he is. Rex Saints just seems like if you're coming to the nose, it's going to be over soon. You might as well just go with your head held high. I, I mean, I, I guess, but I don't think that's how that's how CEOs think about it. You know, high-level type A CEOs aren't thinking moral victories. There's Dennis Rodman to 149. Jaime Jaquez for the Heat. That'll be for Mark S. Oh, and a Destiny insert, Brandon Miller. Well, would Fanatics key? Well, if they, if yeah, if Fanatics bought Panini. My guess is that they would still, that would still, yeah, I think they would do it the way they did with Tops. I mean, Tops, after they got bought, you know, we, we, you know, we still have some friends over at, at Tops, and I was just, <laughs> I remember joking with one of them years ago. It's like, oh, now that Fanatics owns you guys, you know, everyone's getting raises, getting, getting big paychecks, and he kind of laughed and was like, no, it's just business as usual, nothing really changed. Maybe some... Maybe some people like the accounting department, some redundancies were were probably had, but in terms of uh, in terms of everything else, I think they just said, "You guys have been doing this for a long time. You guys keep doing what you're doing." Obviously, their marketing budgets are a little bit bigger. You know, maybe they have better access to like you know players and stuff like that, and you know, but. Not much has changed. Sub Arthur. Not much has changed. So my guess is that if they had if they had bought Panini, you know, um, I feel like they would have done the same thing. They would have just let, you know, most of the existing team keep doing what they're doing. Except we would have seen like. Panini have licensed, or Panini uh, baseball products be licensed, which would be pretty cool. All right, third and final. But, you know, that's all woulda, coulda, shoulda, so we don't, we don't know what's gonna happen now. 
Chris Paul to 349. So I guess we'll wait and see to, to see how all that unfolds, which will be interesting. There's Zach Collins, 290 out of 299. San Antonio, that'll be for the Spurs. Jaime Hawkins for the Heat. And a Jordan Walsh, Destiny, 48 out of 50. You are my density. That's going to go to CJ and the Celtics. Oh, the Saul. We got Brandon Ingram to 199. Scoot Henderson for Portland, and we got a guard coming up. And it is Seth Lundy for the ATL. Oh, and a nice hyper of Victor Weminyama. There we go. Mark S. with the Spurs. Any parallel? We'd love to see it. We've got Kyrie Black, 5 out of 10. Dallas, that's going to be for Mark S. Brandon Pazemski for the Warriors, CJ. You think there'd be a lawsuit like, oh, like an antitrust lawsuit if, when and if Fanatics owns everything? It's Marcus Sasser to 50. I mean, maybe, who knows? I feel like probably not. It's not like, you know, like groceries are an essential, right? Like utilities are, are essential. This is uh, Marcus Astor's Detroit. You know, so you don't want monopolies gouging consumers on food, gas, housing, utilities, phone, heat, power. You know, is is the United States government going to be into? Uh, here's Brett. Spending their time prosecuting baseball cards probably represents a very small uh, part of the United States GDP. Probably not. And there's Bill Walton to 349. So not a bad break, folks. Got the Kyrie, got the Victor. I'm gonna snap a picture of that. LeBron. And another Victor Wimbanyama right here. Second half of the case is there, three boxes at a time. So this is break 10, 11, and 12 will be the final half of that case. I feel like a monster is still lurking in there. So let's go monster hunting. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one.